beautiful uh, rocks. And just up behind us short walk back down there and uh, smoky just down there That's where we had lunch. Climbing up through the conglomerate now. Massive cemented stones here. Plus large ones on the way up. Well, we climbed 55 meters above the hut, going up the little valley here in the conglomerate. Honeymoon Islands down there. There's maps and peak and twisted lakes. That's Love Lake Car Park two and a half hours. Lake Wilkes down there, it's a shortcut. Kitchen hut. And snow on the kitchen hut where we're going? We're going to Kitchen Hut. And we're above the conglomerate up on the basalt couple of kayakers down there that would be quite nice but really boring scenic wise two per canoe well, we've gone across the face. This is some of the old boardwalk. Uh, I'm not sure whether we'll see the car park again for a bit.
That's up the Cradle Mountain and the continuation of the overland track down the Lake Sinclair. This way is the overland track to the north, back to the cars. A loo with a view. At least it's not, not like if you get burnt down, perhaps like poor old Mount Franklin. Yeah. All split palings. Onward ho. There's Barn Bluff. That's where we had lunch four hours ago, across there, about five now. We sat on the top. And we've just crossed Marion's Lookout, looking down to Crater Lake, and that's the famous boathouse. And we continue further down that way. And over the other side is Dove Lake. Marion's Lookout. Back to the car. Put 10 to 6. We have to get down to Smoky down there. And there's Dove Lake where we walk. There's the glacier rock. I follow the walk right round. Yeah. Where we had lunch. And that hut over there. I think you can probably see the hut. Yeah, you can see the hut. Through the green bits there. We climbed up through the conglomerate, through there, in the dark shadow, and walked around the edge there. You can see the track, see on the, in that saddle, you can see the track just below the... Up, up there, yeah, there's the track. Right between those two peaks, yep. where that big saddle is, you can see the track. Goes around there, glacier rock, and then we climbed up 
there. Scramble up past the scree slope up. Somewhere here we went straight up the chains. And chains are there I think. And then had lunch up. Honeymoon Islands. Down there, my shadows. Down there. Nice little bays to canoe into. Looking down the track. along the overland track to Wombat Peak beside Crater Lake. to go down and up another bit of a hill before we go down to the car. There's the sun just catching the glacier rock. Listen. You can hear their voices across the lake. I think I've lost her again in the distance. The car is straight across this Lake Lilla, 1.2k away. There's Lake Lua overflowing. I have to end this video soon. That's a boat shed. That's 400 meters down. I think we've run out of energy because it's still 400 meters for the car. It's a beautiful time of day.
Well, here's our famous blue lake, Turquoise Lake, in an old mine quarry. We camped just next to it for three days. This is our first sight of it. We're just leaving now. We might go round to the Arboretum. That was opened in 1978. Well, we've now just gone around the corner a kilometre and walking through the Tasmanian Arboretum. And since 83 or so, it's fairly young. No, it's a maintained project. by a lot of um, volunteers. Mm -hmm. Bicentenary put in a, a lot of funds. And there's little creeks and yeah. areas devoted to different... Uh, this view must be a bay here, it says it's a bicentenary project. And we have here a little flower. Once you need a photograph, a little sassafras. Look at that. That's such a nice flower. Isn't it? Caravan right. parked straight over there. Well, it was. It's still there, but we're not. This poor little fellow, we didn't see very many of. He's got a long way to go. He's from the King River. This is a New Zealand Rimu. Rimu which we have samples of their timber and our little wooden spoons we gave the kids. There's a hue and pine over here dedicated to Peter Dombrovsky, that little fellow. have to come back in a hundred years time. In. It's called limestone. Quite a nice arboretum. Everything's very young still though. And there's an East Asian section over there. These are all the trees we saw on our walk around Dove Lake. And this example oh. here, no, this was, we saw. This, was and, um, this one's flowering, though. No. That, that was strawn. This one. Gordon River. Here's the King Billy Pine, just flowering at the end of the tips there. I need to get back there's, and take a photo of the whole tree. There's his official name. Mm. Here's your celery top pine we saw many of in a far more mature state. That might do us for the Arboretum. Well, there's Cape Port Sorrel Caravan Park back in there. Not very far from the, the beach on the, the river, the port. This is actually the port. And the people go fishing off this jetty. No surf, I think. Deep banks and dangerous currents, they say, but otherwise very nice. And it's another lovely day. There's hardly a house in sight from here. And that's the port, the townships around that corner. And it's the Asbestos Range National Park over on the horizon has been renamed. I 
Oh, we've driven across the Dazzler Range to Yorktown, Dalrymple Harbour Inlet now. This is Kelso. It's a good seal road to here. All these people come out here for fishing and crabbing and prawning, I suppose. Across there is Gladstone. And aluminium smelters and what have you. Last, last night on TV they had a program on shacks. They travel around all over Tasmania and film shacks. This place is made up of fancy shacks. large sheds that now display seahorses and platypuses or apple storage sheds. There used to be an export area here out through the, the port for apples. Now it looks like wood chips. Bellingham, Nolan Bay out there, it's the Bass Strait in the distance. This is another place of shacks. And it's one of those classic little places from the 50s, full of little shacks like we saw on TV last night and houses with their satellite TV. So they're getting more substantial but you can't get to the ocean from here it's private property so we can just see back to the, the inlet looking west jury if you're looking south it does a wide y split and the left hand split the west eastern split is piper's brook and the right hand eastern split is piper river piper's river our campsite at Bridge Point now with a full moon up there. They camp just along the walking track around the or linking all the beaches. Mary just cooking up the onions in our tent down here. See what we're having for dinner yet. Well, here's our morning view, Wednesday morning. 
is going to have breakfast before heading off east through Gladstone, Mount William, etc. The remote northeast. That's a ferry to Flinders Island. Oh, a nice place to spend a few days. There's about a hundred campsites in the caravan park. That's the old jetty. This is a, a port. Takes you to Flinders Island, etc. You can also fly to it. Miles and his grandparents used to come up here, my grandfather, Port Rid, for holidays. We could see the, the waves and the water in my bedroom window, just up here. There we are. And looking for a spot to photograph the light and covered rocks. I found one close to home. Typical of Tasmania. We've got two phones here, another one just up the road, a local hotel, and even the library with internet access, which is very typical, but we haven't managed to get to a public library.